What's going on everyone, Metal Raymond here and welcome back to Group Arm in episode number 76 for y'all today. Today we are finally starting the Nightmare Grind right after the update, doing a little bit of crest hunting in the wildy and a lot of great stuff in between that as well. I have a juicy $30 bond giveaway on top of it all and if you want to enter that giveaway all you need to do is of course subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your name down below and turn on the post notifications. You've done all that yet to the giveaway, wish you all the best of luck on that. If you're new to Runex and you want to try it out for yourself, please do use the link at the top of the description. It's a referral link, helps me out a ton if you use that. And of course, make sure you join the Runex Discord and my own private Discord, the Metal Squad. Links for both of those are in the description down below as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, let's hop right into it. Alright then guys, we just had a uh, amazing nightmare stream, probably by far my best performing one. And I'll probably have a lot of voiceover commentary, but... My girlfriend is going to bed now, I just finished it, it's late at night, so uh, we're gonna continue doing Nightmare, don't get me wrong here, but uh, I'm gonna have to be quiet and I'll probably uh, add some voice over to the clips later, just wanted to have a little intermission, so to say. Alright, good morning to you all. Just decided to just start off the day with a little bit of value. I want to get some more crest pieces tree. Just got one earlier, went to the bank real quick and I got a uh, cursed casket right after it, so that's very nice. Um, I'm using my scythe here. I don't really care. I don't plan to uh, get skull tricked or anything. My auto retaliate is off. I'll never attack anyone, so no biggie there. We sure did fail a lot of fucking things yesterday. It's a bit of a shame. Really wanted that uh, Ring of Greed imbued combination of Ring of Wealth and Ring of Greed in one. Insanely good ring, I really want to get that, helped a lot. Always trying to decide, like, if I don't want to use Elixir, it's, it's always a tough decision. Do I want to use the Wealth or the Greed? You know, do I want to get Drop Rate or Double Drop Rate? Wow, we're getting back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back drops right here, that's pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, a little bit unfortunate that we filled everything we tried to enchant. We're now four imbuing stones in, we haven't seen a single one go through yet, unfortunately. So yeah, just want to get some grand crest pieces for now. And then, uh, you know, work towards that crest root set for a bit. Probably gonna make a nightmare guide today as well, but you know, these clips are quite behind in comparison anyway. <sighs> Alright then guys, I just finished my Callisto task and a Normie account showed up at the very end, so I couldn't actually uh, continue doing it. But I just remembered that there is something important I have to do. You can just buy and sell those items back really easily. I think I needed to buy this one for a achievement. There we go. And there was something else that you also need for a different achievement. I just look this particular one up. Um, oh, a V's shield. Okay, let's buy that as well, just to get it out of the way. But that is also my 200th, 200th uh, achievement, which is very nice. Uh, because that achievement in and of its own gives a grand crest if I remember correctly So as you can see yeah, and a mystery chest on top of that two M boxes from this one So let's claim all of that 
boom, another free crest and a bunch of runex points. Needed that after yesterday. Wasted all those points on the Ring of Wealth's eye after all. That's another full easy crest. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate that. Let's grab the mystery boxes. I don't think I'm also going to open one chest without a key because, you know, I don't see myself getting any keys anytime soon. And I got a hand cannon announcement drop. That's a bit unfortunate, not going to lie. But I don't plan to open the other ones. I do want to have some chests ready to go when we do get a key, so to say. Now, that's pretty nice. That's a great way to get started. We are now looking at seven full crests, five grand crest piece, three. So we need another... Uh, uh, eight of those <laughs> and then a shitload of twos and ones it's gonna be a grind that's for sure all right we have a little three man in this case uh, we were with four men but one of them died along the way unfortunately very big sad let's see if we can finally hit our first loot at the Ashihama come on Inquisitor Hauberg thank you <gasps> no way sticky <laughs> no way he got a sire stone first KC <laughs> What? Bro, you have got to be kidding me. The RNG right there. 1KC Siren Stone. <laughs> no fucking way, bro. Oh my god. What? <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> that is insane, bro. Alright, hold up. Don't worry. I'll get a 1KC, bro. Good luck for the boys. Oh, fuck. Put on your drop rate. Come on! Yeah, can't get ah, open. nothing. Here we go with another kill, this time a duo. Ah, no drop again. Dragon arrow and some coins. Better than nothing, I guess. Anyone get anything? No! Yay! Uh, Noob, was that your first kill? Oh, I got a 25 yeah. mil coins drop. The, I think it's like 1 in 10 or something. Ladies and gentlemen, top of the morning to y'all. I just woke up and to some really good news. A actual new patch update has been released on Runex. I haven't fully looked at everything just quite yet, but there have been <coughs> quite the amount of improvements. If we open the Nightmare, for example, right now, let's have a little looky at the drop table. Not too much difference when it comes to the common drops as far as I can tell. Oh, they made th these drops 1 in 5, that's a little bit better. They added an imbuing stone at 1 in 250. Inquisitor items were lowered by 100 and these by 250. And they added the Nightmare Pad, which is really nice, 1 in 2000 though. It's gonna be rough. There's also a chance uh, if you are the MVP, I think a 25% chance to get a 2 times drop roll in solo mode. Huh. Well, there's a lot of uh, new changes, but... Uh, Seems like it's going to be worth a little bit more to do this now. Oh yeah, my risk has also been lowered from uh, <coughs> the original 400... Or no, I, I was risking 760 mil in here at first, and now it's uh, like 460 or something. It's way lower at least. That's very nice. Starting out with a nice little face right there. Soul Split will now also deal a lot less healing. And apparently someone has more tank than the guy over there. Well, I just... Well, Make up your mind, Nightmare. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a little bit of getting used to. I have to wake up. Hmm. It actually died in the first phase again. That's a weird little bug. Here we go. First kill of the day. Nothing. And Tranquil gets both damage MVP and tank MVP? How? I, I fail to understand. That's... Hmm. With a freaking Inquisitor Maze, he seems to deal the most damage. I guess to really buff that shit. Next kill. Hey, I took the tank MVP. I knew it. As long as I take enough damage. <laughs> All right, and just finished another three-hour nightmare stream where we went absolutely dry. No drops still. Currently looking at, I believe, 57 KC, maybe 58. I'm not 100% sure, to be fair, from the top of my head real quick. But we're doing pretty good. And uh, we're about to get another one. Good luck, boys. 
What do we get this time? Probably nothing. Shocking surprise. 5 minutes 26? That's so much faster. I'm unsure. Yeah, just to clarify, 58 KC at the moment. I think we skipped a phase on that last kill. I don't know how that happens, but happens very rarely. Whoa, grats, Noah. Next! Ooh, I did get a double drop. Doesn't show the MVP shit again. Weird. Alright, last kill and then I'm gonna have to leave for dinner for a bit. Anything and nope, nothing as usual. Cool, cool. The MVP stuff didn't work again. Three times in a row or something? It's so weird. It's so weird. 61 KC though. Number 62. Oh, MVP does work even though some people die. That's interesting. That's good to know. I'm glad they did that. Because two people died and I thought MVP ain't gonna trigger. We thought it was buggy, but apparently it only triggers when you're in a 5-man. But even though people died, it still works. That's great. 15% drop rate bonus. Beautiful. And the next skill, number 63, I believe. MVP. Yep, very nice. For some mithril ores. Another kill. Another nothing. What? I got the tank, but not the damage? Here we go with the next one. 64, 65, I'm not even sure how oh, I can check. 65, good luck boys. Last hit, boom bang, bada bing bong. Give me a drop already, please. What? I got neither MVP? Oh my god. Next. Nothing. Hey, MVP though. -de -do. Nothing again, yay. Alright, we go with the next skill, probably my clutchest one so far, because I'm completely out of food. Couldn't hit for the life of me, aka I couldn't heal. I got diamonds, wow! Alright guys, I'm a little bit done with um, Nightmare as it is currently. I'm at 69 KC, we haven't seen a single drop. I'm just a little tired of it. I really want to see Ryan improve the drop tables first. I think it's very fucking important that he does. Not necessarily the uniques, although those are way too rare in and of its own. I think the rares are more rare than they are on actual old school runescape. I think that says enough. But um, more than anything, it needs to have better common and uncommon drop tables. Because killing it 69 times, you know, putting in over 15 hours at this boss. Just to gain, what, two dragon legs and a square shield and a bunch of useless runes and all of that stuff. It's, it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna just uh, move on. I'm trying to get a Scorpio task here, but it doesn't seem to want to. Getting a whole bunch of different willy tasks, but uh, hopefully I can get a little Scorpio one soon. I'll see you guys when I do. Goddamn, I almost skipped it because I didn't even realize at first, but uh, we got a Scorpio task. Let's hope no one is there at the moment, even though odds are there is someone there because there's always someone there. Like, on God. Oh, wait, there isn't. <gasps> Bless. So you can't save this safe spot this fucker, so don't even worry about me standing behind a rock. Just gonna say that in advance. I'm not even sure what you pray. Range? Seems to be range. Yeah, you can't save spot this fucker anyway. I'm mainly standing here because PKers have a little bit of a rougher time getting to you, I suppose. Maybe I should stand on this side so they have to walk a little bit. I'll see you guys when I get a drop, hopefully maybe one day. 